I have a cute card to share with you today. Gina K Designs has a new release and today I am playing with her brand new bundle. Hey everyone, it's Kathy coming to you from the studio and the circle. To see how I made this card project, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'm using today and this is a new bundle from Gina K Designs called Create Friendship. There is a stamp set, there is a layering stencil set, and there are coordinating dies that let you cut out all of the different elements. And I am so excited to have the full bundle because I'm going to do the cut the die shape first and then stencil over this. And I'm gonna get started right now, so let's do it. I've got a piece of the Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight cardstock and all I'm going to do is just cut this shape out first so that I can stencil onto the shape. Go ahead and run that through. All right, so I've got my actual shape because this is just going to be a lot easier than trying to figure out how to stencil and cut. I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of paper that I can tape this down to for some ink blending. So I'm going to try this. This is how Gina will do it sometimes. And I'm going to take just a little tape runner like that, right? Pop this die cut right onto here. And then I'm going to take the first layer of my stencil and just position it until I know we are lined up and the nice thing is you can see through it right and you can get that nice little outline that you're looking for and then i'm going to tape it just with a little bit of tape like that top and bottom and then i'll just kind of hold it as i go I'm not worried about the butterfly detail here because well we're not going to be doing much with that but i'm going to start out wait do i have this i always forget which way i'm going here let's flip it no, that is what I want because I don't like putting my wrist into the color. Okay, starting out with Dusty Rose and that is what I'm going to use to start. I give that a nice little good brush here and I'm going to do the Dusty Rose first because there are also two other smaller flowers here and I'm going to do those in a different color, I think. So I'm just going to start out here and I want to make sure, yeah, I'm getting a goodly amount. I'm going to, in fact, you know what? Never say never. Just put a tiny bit of masking right over that part. And I actually might, no, I'll keep that in pink. Okay, takes me a minute to figure out the first time I've used these, but here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna bring in the dusty rose to add the color to our flowers. Okay. And what's great about the stencil is it picks up sort of the a little shadowing here and there gives you this nice little nice little bloom and we're going to do the center one as well and coming down on the third one again you just keep going until you have the color looking how you think it should look. And I think that looks really nice. Love this pink. Now let me grab an orange ink. I'm going to add a little bit of sweet mango to the center. And I just grabbed a little cube here and I've got a clean little brush that I have a smaller little blender like this. This is just a Concord and Ninth. And I'm just going to add that sweet mango nice and dark into the center there and I'm actually going to take just a little post-it note here. Just want to protect that right there. Okay, like that. And again, I want to make that dark because I'm going to come back in with my flower, I think, to do the other. And I'm going to make just this little friend, well, should that be a flower or a bud? No, that could be a flower. I'm actually going to do this one orange too. So this is all in the sweet mango. Make it a little deeper at the bottom like that. Okay. All right. Love how you can do that. Just, just go a little darker at the bottom. And again, 
darkening these up. And that is layer one. So I'll get this cleaned up and I'll pop on the next layer. Actually, I wanna show you what it looks like now with that layer in. Okay, I'll go clean this off and place the next stencil. I've placed the next stencil, lined this up on the greenery, and I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna grab Jelly Bean Green, maybe tap a little off, and just bring this in lightly, not too heavy, because I plan on darkening up the bases just a little. Okay, now I actually think, let me grab another brush that I have. I'm gonna bring in my little Waffle Flower Shader 1 because I think, okay, there we go. I think this will be a little bit better for control. Of course, you can always just use the tip of any brush, right? You don't have to have all the brushes. I just do because, well, these, this, is, this is what I do. All right, let's see how dark that is. Now I'm just gonna try to come in at the base of each one of these and just sweep up a little fresh asparagus because that's just going to give a little depth. You can sweep it, you can circular blend it, but you want to be careful because it does have little that little detail in the stencil that you don't want to you don't want to lose that. All right, so we're just going to do that. Okay, and then if you just wanna give it a final little sweep and love, you can just go right over like that. All right, and that is layer two. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, look how pretty that is. I love it. It's coming together. All right, let me get the third stencil on and we'll add the rest for the flowers and the centers here. I'm going to use medium carnation for the centers and I just picked up another little, I have a whole stash of these small brushes and we're just gonna add that to the center. This is very bright, it's very pretty. Just add that to the center like that, okay. And now I'll take my little orange brush and again, I'm going to go light now with the sweet mango and just Lightly go over like that. Maybe put a little darkness on one side like that and just kind of blend it out. I thought having a little tone on tone flower would be kind of cute. All right. All right. A little bit like that. A little darker around the edges. And that should be good to go. Let's take a look. I just want to make sure this is dark enough in here. Yep, nice and dark. Nice and dark. Okay, let's lift it and see what we have created in three stencils. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. I love it. What a beautiful, quick and easy little bloom. This will peel right off and I now have a bloom for my card. I actually decided I want to do a butterfly that matches. So I'm gonna just tape that down. I'm going to start with the butterfly stencil for the body, right? So again, you just look through the stencil. Oh, my head's getting in the way a little. Line it up, see that outline, and then I will tape, and I will tape. Let's grab my orange brush and I'm going to use the Sweet Mango as my larger background, right? And I'm gonna do it a little darker at the bottom, like this, okay? A little darker at the bottom, but then the rest of it, I just want to fade up and be very light. And I'm being very careful over the little point there. I don't wanna get underneath it. Just some kind of sweeping up over that. Okay. All right, that should dry nicely. So we'll take this off. And while I'm here, I might as well just, well, no, you know what? I'm going to come back to the body. Next, I'm going to bring in, let's see if I can get that here. I'm going to bring in 
find this part of the butterfly and make sure I'm reading the right way. Yeah. And let's go about there. Put that magnet there for now. And I'll just tape this into place. And now for this, I'm actually going to grab Tangerine Twist. And I just have my cube handy here. So I'm going to load up my brush and just blend on this darker, brighter orange color. Like that. And I'll just give it kind of a cool tone on tone look. Oh, love it. And now I'm gonna bring in this part. Make sure again that I'm reading it the right side up. And I'm going to just fit that right in there. Now here's where I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm going to grab a smaller brush and I'm actually going to use, let's switch out here. I'm gonna bring in the Dusty Rose, like this. And I'm gonna do part of it in Dusty Rose in the center, like that, okay? But I'm gonna blend the rest of the outside with a sweet, no, no, I'm gonna use the Tangerine Twist. I just wanna kinda of create this two-tone look on this butterfly, on this detail. There we go. And then that will be on the outside, like that. Okay, so we just sort of get a little pink and a little orange together, like that. And again, that just goes over in the center. Kind of a funky look. Then I'll add the body. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that nice? Just adds a little extra something. And now I'm gonna bring the body back in. And I am going to do the body. Let's make sure we get it all lined up. And again, just throw in that magnet to hold it while I just get this in place. I am gonna do the whole body in Dusty Rose. And that way this butterfly is gonna have a nice coordination with uh, what I've already blended with the florals. So we'll just do that, okay? Coming up. Like that. All right. But here I'm gonna go down a little bit deeper so we fade up a bit. And that is my butterfly. Let's take a look. I think that's very pretty. All right, and again, this whole do the die cut first, right? Everything gets lined up so well. And actually, I also wanna show you, you don't have to take the adhesive off the back, but I usually do. And I just use adhesive erasers, which I, I clear off some of the gum and I just go like this. until it's off the back and then I don't have to worry about it sticking anywhere. So now I have a butterfly and I have my little bloom. Now I need to do a greeting. I went ahead and made my note card out of Gina's uh, heavy base weight cardstock. And here's what I don't know yet. I am gonna be popping this up, but what if I want to actually stamp directly onto my floral arrangement? because I think it would be really nice to have our friendship and then mean so much to me or your friendship. I don't know, like I think just stamping it directly on could be really cute. I am going to get my Misty here and I think what I'll do is put a little, well, let's see here, let's put a little, the tape runner right on the misty surface. And that way I know this is gonna hold in place, right? And I can tape it down too, so I think I will do that. I don't know if it's gonna hold as well as I want it to. So I think, what if I planned this like that? And we did the hour. 
And I'm just going to stamp it in black ink because I actually think that would look really nice. It'll stand out a little bit more. And see how I can nestle that right in here on the bloom. We're going we're gonna to roll some dice here. And I'm actually going to make sure, let me take this out now. I want to make sure that that looks pretty straight. And I actually think it does. So I'm just going to prime this a little. Get it a little primed up. I have just a cube here of Gina K Designs Onyx Black. It's a really nice black ink for little greetings like this. Okay, and I'll just ink that up, bring it down, and just do a light press because I don't want to smush it. So I'm not using my pressure tool here. I'd rather do just a couple little taps like that. I'll even go three times. Oh, I think this is very neat. I never stamp directly on a, an image like this, so this feels a little feels a little out there for me. All right. And the thing is too, even if this is not perfectly straight, that's okay because I can just tilt my bloom to be how I need it to be. But I think while I'm here, I am going to stamp my sub greeting as well. And I am going to lift this up. All right unstick. And again, I can just use my little uh, adhesive eraser to get that off. Same thing with this. Like that just comes right up. Okay. Here I have just a little scrap of black cardstock. I'm going to pick up the means so much. Like that. I'm going to rub my finger over this. Let me grab some embossing ink. I've got some Gina K Designs Fine Detail White. I am going to take my Simon Says Stamp powder tool, just powder that up to remove static and oil. And we'll just go ahead, ink that up. And again, I don't even think I need to go that hard with it because that just looks really nice there. Your friendship means so much. I'll just sprinkle it on. and I'll brush away any excess as needed. Actually, that looks pretty good. I got a little where I don't want it, so I will brush that away. Okay. This is where I take my little teeny tiny shader brush and I just pick up a few errant flakes that do not need to be there. They just really show up on the black cardstock but now that's ready to be melted. So I'll get my heat tool warmed up and we'll melt the powder. Great. Now, as soon as this cools, I'll buff off that extra anti-static powder. Any part of this cloth and just go over it to buff it off. Gets most of it off, Oh, that looks really good. Okay. Now I have some of Gina's sentiment strips here. And I think, well, let's see, is this one going to be the right size? I actually think that one is going to be perfect. So I am going to cut this out. I'll just tape it into place. My little head out of the way or my big head like that. And I'll go ahead and run that through my die cut machine. I am going to put some very small, actually, let's slide you out. These are just some little Darice foam squares that are so nice because even though this is on a shadow layer and it's sturdy, I still want it to kind of have a bit of a pop up. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. And I love using Gina's pick and stick to kind of fill in because you can cut these little guys in half and you just have the nicest little sturdy foam squares. All right, there's that. Here's what I don't know yet though. So we have our, we have the hour and I can actually, I mean like I can make sure that's perfectly straight cause that's the one that matters the most, right? So I'll get that in place. I won't worry about that just yet. Friendship is gonna go here, right? Now what if I just put this on a lower level, our friendship? means I might have to cut that actually. I'm gonna have to trim these to be smaller because that is just too much. 
And I think I may have gotten, how's that? Okay, come on, come on out. Oh my, oh, it doesn't wanna come and I just cut it. All right, take two. <laughs> Having a change of heart. I think right now this feels a little too dark to have it here. I could just do our friendship and then on the inside stamp means so much. But here's what I don't know too. Do I want to incorporate a butterfly? Because what I thought was, what if the butterfly was kind of peeking out behind, right? But I don't know. Like I love the butterfly, but I may not use it unless I were to like somehow, you know, pop him in here and then have that sort of layered in like that. Now that's kind of cute. That's kind of a cute little cluster, but I kind of want my butterfly to have a tiny bit of separation. You know, like I would want to put him on some foam squares too, and that would start to make this get really high. And I don't, I don't know. Part of me just thinks, you know, sometimes, well, I could do this on the inside too. So why don't we do that? I'm going to do this on the outside, and then I'm going to use my pretty little stenciled butterfly on the inside. You know, sometimes you make things and you end up changing your mind or you figure out a different placement for them. And that's fine, it's kind of, kind of part of the creative process. That is one of the things that I think I love most about card making is just the noodling and thinking, oh, I thought this would work and then realizing, hey, you know what? You can go in a different direction, it's gonna to be totally fine. And even if you end up not using something, right, you can always, stick it in your little bin and figure it out later. Okay, the thing that I do want though is to make sure that the hour is nicely placed and lined up straight. So I'm gonna really quickly before that foam adheres, I'm gonna bring that in. That looks pretty good. Okay, press that down like that. And then we're just gonna place our little friendship right there, and I love that. I love how this just sort of goes right in there. And again, I will do the same thing here with just a little liquid glue for the points of contact so this can have a little float time as well. All right, our friendship. That, I love how the R fits right in there. And I can again, even though I can't get underneath the letters, I can take a look here. And you know what? This needs to come down just a little bit like that. And press. That's what I love about the, the liquid glue. You can wiggle and make sure that's straight. Yep, that looks good. I'm gonna take my magnets right here and here's what I don't know. So I could just, I'm not gonna pop this up at all, right? I'm gonna, let's see here, I got a little something on there. I'll have this right in the center and then I'll just take means so much right in the center like that. I mean, that is kind of a nice way to do it. So why not? I'm gonna roll the dice here. I don't think I'm gonna mess it up. Okay, we're inking it up with the black onyx. I am gonna stand up for just a second. Line this up with my little comfort block and I'm going to stamp it right there. And that looks great. Hey, free range stamping for the win. And then I'll just take a little tape like that. And I'm gonna pop that right in the center. So that's kind of a fun thing to have on the inside of the card, right? And then I can write my little note, but look at that. So here's our friendship and you open it up, means so much. Okay, one more thing. Let's put something shiny on here to finish this out. I just have a few gold pearls, a tiny, tiny one, which I love the tiny, tiny ones in this pack. This is from Studio Katya and we'll just Drop it down. Boop. 
my card wants to pop open because it's such solid cardstock. And that's okay. I mean, I love, I love heavy duty cardstock. It is, you know, something else. All right, I'm gonna come here, get you all up there. Okay, pick it up. Boop. And one more for the number five. And that is my finished card project. I love how that turned out. So we just have this lovely, our friendship with that beautiful greeting and the stamped and that lovely stenciled little floral arrangement. And then you open it up, means so much. Using common colors from what is here on the front. And I love how this turned out. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find links to all of the supplies I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe and be sure to hit that like button as well. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. To see a few more fun card projects featuring products from Gina K Designs, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below and I'll see you in those videos.